You may have seen some images by Ron Miller showing what the planets would look like if they were as close to the Earth as the Moon, so 400,000 kilometers away. If not, there's a link in the description. But if Jupiter was this close, what would happen to us? Does Jupiter have enough gravity to pull us off our planet? Our solar system. That's the name for the collection of planets, planetoids, rocks and debris that orbit our local star, the Sun. Just looking at the relatively big stuff, there are four planets made of rock, close to the Sun, and four made of gas, further away, totaling eight planets and one star. Sorry, Pluto. So the smaller rocky planets are much smaller compared to the large gaseous ones. So this is the size of Jupiter compared to Earth. So Jupiter is large, but you can't stand on it. It's gas. But how much gravity is she holding compared to our rock? Rocks weigh more than gas, right? Remember size, that's how big something is, it's not really a scientific term. And mass, a fundamental measure of the amount of matter in an object, are not really the same thing. Even if we use those words interchangeably to describe... Fatty, fatty toad boy. Definitions of mass often seem circular because it's such a fundamental quantity that it's hard to define in terms of anything else. It's like trying to describe black. It's hard to think of ways to define other than what it is. It's, it's, it's black. It's easier to think of it in this way. If an object has a mass of one kilogram on Earth, it would still have a mass of one kilogram on the moon, but would only weigh one-sixth as much because the moon's gravity is one-sixth as strong. How is Jupiter, a giant gas ball, more massive? Even though it's gas, it's a large amount of gas. Remember the sun? That big gas ball at the center of our solar system? Because of its large mass, the sun accounts for 99.8% of the entire mass of the solar system. That's everything including planets, rock, ice, satellites, Pluto, you, everything. Just like the Sun, because of the sheer amount of Jupiter that there is, it's 317 times the mass of Earth. So if Jupiter were at the distance of the Moon, what would happen? I was looking at some Reddit subs on Ask Science, but I couldn't find a good enough answer. I did find a program called Sandbox Universe though, and it does exactly what it says you can play with the universe. I like to play. It's a real-world physics-based engine that allows you to manipulate and create and test and observe properties of gravity that affects and interacts with planets and black holes, suns and galaxies right on your PC. So this is the Earth-Moon system, part of the bigger solar system. Using this program, I can swap the moon for Jupiter. Boop! I can change the time setting so one second in this universe of my computer equals six hours of real universe time. And this is what happens. So if Jupiter was this close, never mind about us humans being pulled off the Earth, the gravity between Jupiter and Earth would mean that Jupiter is not really interested in us humans. It's interested in the giant ball we're standing on. We just go along for the ride. If Jupiter were to instantaneously appear in the orbit of and replace the moon, within a few hours, the gravity between the two planets would mean we, and our planet, are sucked into the Jovian atmosphere, where we would be asphyxiated, compressed, frozen and crushed, not to mention blown apart by winds, cyclones, lightning, and dunked in supercritical liquid ammonia, while Earth itself would become a frozen ice ball at the center. So mass accounts for the movement of all bodies in space. The more massive you are, the more gravitationally attractive you are. And for the Earth, Jupiter is one attractive beast. But what about five Jupiters in the Moon's orbit? Hey guys, if you have any ideas about what you want to see in further science videos, just hit me up in the comments. And remember, everything is interesting.